This video will illustrate a sample cycle time estimate using Kentekas Kipware CYC application. The sample part print can be downloaded using the link in the YouTube description or the link on this web page. There are two important points to consider which are sometimes overlooked when creating cycle time estimates. Missing these points can make the estimating process overly complex and overly detailed leading to longer than required estimating times and complexity. First, it is important to remember that our goal is to calculate a machining cycle time, and not to create a G-code program to machine the part. Therefore, we will be utilizing machining operations and specifications that are as close as possible to the actual machining operations and specs that would be used to machine the part, but we do not have to be exact because we are not actually machining the part. For example, concerning the two hex bosses on the underside of the part. We will use a facing operation to machine the depth of 0.500 without considering the bosses. Then we will use a boss machining operation to calculate the time required to machine the bosses. We can do this because we are not actually creating a G-code program to machine the part, just calculating machining time. The time variations between accounting for the bosses when facing is immaterial and will not affect the cycle time in any significant way. Second, because we are not creating a machining program, we could estimate the required machining operations in any order. We are only looking for a total machining time and the order in which we create times for each operation is not important as long as our estimate is complete with all operations. So let's consider the machining processes involved for estimating our sample workpiece. First operation will be to hold a stock block of material that will be 8.125 inches long by 2.00 inches wide by 2. 750 inches thick in a block leaving 2.550 inches sticking above the jaws. We will rough and finish the profile and then mill the two end pockets and center round pocket. Then we will spot drill and drill all holes and then circle mill the three counter bores. Next, we will flip the part and finish face and mill to the 2.00 inch thickness leaving the bosses. Finally, we will finish machine the two hex bosses. Let's get started. We will open up the estimate specifics window and define the part name, print number etc. for the workpiece. A cycle time estimate in Kipware CYC is done simply by entering the information for each operation to machine the part from rough stock to completion. We will use the default machine and cutting parameter databases that are shipped standard with Kipware CYC. We will be using a Haas VF1 and the part is made from 6061 aluminum. We will begin by calculating the time required to saw the material length to 8.125 from the 12 foot bar stock. We will use a handling time of 15 seconds to load and unload the part and complete the operation specifics as applicable. To finish we will select the calculate button and Kipware CYC will calculate the RPM and feed rate and cutting time and rapid time based on our machine database information for this saw. Next we will move to the machining of the part in the VF1 and begin with rough machining the OD contour. Again we will include a handling time to account for the loading of the part into the vise. We have a standard manual vise load operation stored in our handling time database, we will use that. The length of cut can simply be calculated by adding up the length to machine the parameter of the part. 7.38 plus 1.90 plus 7.38 plus 1.90 equals 18.56 inches. So one pass around the part would be 18.56 inches but we will be stepping down in Z by 0.200 until we reach a depth of 2.550. That means we will be making 13 passes around the part meaning our total length of cut would be 13 times 18.56 or 242 inches. We will not take into account the corner radii and chamfers because whether the corners are square or rounded will not significantly affect the machining time. We will use a 0.750 diameter to flute end mill for this operation. 
select calculate to see the results and times for this operation. Next we will finish mill the OD contour. We do not need to consider a handling time since the part is already in the vise. Inputs are similar to the roughing operation but our length of cut is calculated using only one pass around the contour which equals 18.56 inches. Select calculate to see the results and times for this operation. Next we will mill the two end pockets and the center round pocket. We will use the cut length calculator application to assist us with the length of cut calculation for these operations. We will be using a 0.500 diameter end mill for all three pockets. We will use the square rectangular pocket to calculate the length of cut for the end pocket. Then use the circular pocket for the center round pocket. With two end pockets and one circular pocket, our total length of cut will be 20.97 inches. Select calculate to see the results and times for this operation. Next operation is to spot drill three places. We can easily calculate the length of cut manually for this operation and the drilling in the next operation. Next drill 0.375 diameter 2 places and 0.5001 place. The last operation on this side is to circle mill, counterbore in three places. We will again use the cut length calculator to calculate the length of cut.
let's quickly review the operations and times in our estimate that we have created so far. This is a powerful feature in Kipware CYC that allows us to quickly and easily see the high time areas. Viewing these specifics gives us an opportunity to adjust or easily perform what-if scenarios to improve the times for those operations. What-if scenarios can include changing tool types or material, or approach the machining using a different method. Next we will flip the part over and face the second side to remove the material that we were using to hold in OP1 and mill the depth to 2.00 inches. The last operation will be to machine the two hex bosses. We will use the round boss menu in CLC to assist us in calculating the time to machine these two bosses. It is not necessary to concern ourselves with the hex shape, defining them as round will yield a sufficiently accurate time. We will also include a handling time for this operation since this finalizes our machining process and we will need to remove the part from the vise. Let's again review our estimated times and confirm we are happy with the results. Let's use the included runtime calculator based on our estimate to see how many hours and days the run will take and what the total labor charges will be. The key to accurate cycle time estimating is to ensure that what happens in your estimate gets reproduced on your shop floor. The database design of Kipware CYC ensures that that happens. Also ensuring that that happens is the routing sheet feature in Kipware CYC. When the job is won, we can quickly and easily create a routing sheet that contains all the speeds and feeds and times for each operation contained in our estimate. This will ensure that the shop floor has a thorough road map to set up the manufacturing to match the estimate, improving whenever possible.
In today's market it is essential that your quotes and estimates are accurate in order to ensure that your shop is not wasting time and energy manufacturing parts that just lose money. Kipware CYC is an essential tool that is easy to use, easy to configure and one that will add consistency and accuracy to your cycle time estimating. Estimates created in Kipware CYC will be reproducible on your shop floor because speeds, feeds and cutting conditions are not created from book knowledge, but from actual inputs that reflect your shop floor and its capabilities. Every profitable quote begins with an accurate cycle time estimate and Kipware CYC will ensure that you are not only winning work, but winning profitable work.